Welcome to Big D, Dallas, Texas, and LFL Friday Night Football. Tonight, two of the best in the Western Conference do battle as Los Angeles looks to upset perhaps the best team in the league, the Dallas Desire. Los Angeles actually comes in as the underdog, yet believes they are the better team overall. Dallas is on a championship mission to Miami, site of this year's lingerie bowl behind the resurgent play of quarterback Linda Brenner and all fantasy running back Gabrielle Marie. So fans, get your popcorn ready. It's L.A. and Dallas on LFL Friday Night Football. In the time to decide in your mind if you got what it takes for the shine. Yo, don't be wasting the time. Yo, get erased from the line. Yo, lights in the cameras are flashing, fans on their feet, and it's time for some action. Thunder and lightning, they fighting and clashing. High speed chase, race and keep smashing. L, 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 this is Friday Night Football. Welcome back to Dallas for LFL Friday Night Football. I'm your host, Tom Dora, alongside our sideline reporter, Jesse James. And fans, the numbers obviously don't lie. Dallas has just dominated, outscoring its opponents 60-12 to and led to that 2-0 record and an opportunity to clinch for a playoff berth tonight. Now let's go to our PA announcer, Rick Harold, for tonight's team introduction. First, let's give a Dallas welcome to our visitors, the ladies of the Los Angeles Temptations. L.A. 1-0 right on the heels of Seattle and Dallas and looking for a major league statement game tonight. This is a big one for L.A. Uh, Dallas in pretty good shape, but L.A. needs a win. L.A. led by a great quarterback and an outstanding line, and they'll need it tonight because Dallas can flat play. If you haven't seen them yet, you will get, you're in for a treat. Dallas and L.A. both pretty good. And L.A. says, yep, we're number one. As they come into this one in pretty good shape, look at this. Look at the eyes on these ladies. They are ready for action. Dallas has played really well in the two times we've seen them. They can and throw it, they can Dallas, pass it, and run. Are you ready to get football's biggest party started? Stand up, wave your towels, and welcome. And you'll be meeting your 2009-2010 hometown Dallas Desire. And captain, number 12, Linda. Brenner has really played well this year. She can really find the open receivers. And welcome your hometown, Dallas Desire. And here they come, a team that's definitely Everybody on a mission. They are looking towards Miami in the playoffs. Right now, that's their whole focus. And a win tonight, they clinch that playoff berth, which will be a major league win for them. And obviously, L.A., a team that feels like they might be the best team, even though they're the underdog tonight. Well, Dallas is saying, you're coming into our house. It'll be a very interesting evening. And don't forget about Seattle. We keep talking about L.A. and Dallas. Seattle, very quietly, has got a 2-0 record. Seattle playing very good, very smart, very effective football. So it's not like there's just these two teams. Seattle is uh, is a very good football team as well. LA team prepares for the national anthem. And these two teams, they both realize that this is a huge game. The winner of this is in great shape to go to the playoffs. The loser of this has got some work to do. The fact that it's in Dallas, you got to think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing for them. Can't talk. 
We'll take a break and come back. We have our keys to the game coming up. Stick around. Welcome back to Dallas. Just a beautiful night here in the Big D. Let's go down to the sidelines. Jesse James standing by. Jesse. Thanks, Tom. Player number two, Anne Marie Garrett. Now, tell me, if you guys win this game against potentially the toughest team in the league, you guys are guaranteed a spot in the conference finals. What's going through your head right now? You know, Jesse, I mean, you're right. This is one of the toughest teams in our conference. Um, we've been training hard. We could be in the playoffs potentially. We just stay focused, and uh, we're, we're all about Miami. We're going to win this tonight. We're going to really put our heads in the game. Stay humble and stay focused and listen to our coaches. Okay. Well, thanks again, Aaron, and good luck tonight. Jesse. Thanks again. Back to you, Tom. All right. Thanks, Jesse. Let's take a look at our keys to the game now. Well, that Dallas defense features one of the best interior rush defenses in the league. Headlined by defensive ends Aaron Marie Garrett and Gabrielle Marie. LA's ability to keep those two ladies off Joey Davenport will be a must. Davenport, one of the best arms in the league, but can be susceptible to some mental breakdowns or ability to block out the crowd will be a big key. And the return of all fantasy backers, how about this? Uh, two terrific players, LA's Monique Exola and Michelle Jacob, both will be needed against an impressive number one ranked Dallas offense. And let's play ball. Number one and number two out west. High short kickoff. And is it going to be much of a return? Oh, now she gets away. Look at this. She's up near midfield. She almost got stopped immediately, then gets out near midfield. And now here we go. Linda Brenner, here's the Dallas starting lineups. Linda Brenner, the quarterback, Gabriel Marie, Shannon C, their running backs. Candace Mosley is one of the best receivers in the league. She can flat catch it and has been free a couple times deep, and it's surprising as good as she is. Quarterback is Linda Brenner, and Brenner is outstanding. One of those that really runs the game and understands the game very well. Brenner has some motion, fakes the give, now fades back. Gets away from one, throws a pass, it's caught. And they'll get a gain of a couple. That'll be to a C who got that. Defense for LA, Michelle Jaco is one of those that can play. Reese Matthews is an outstanding player as well, defensive end. Monica Gexola, Stephanie Pasik are players again that can really get after it for LA. All right, here we go. Second down and eight. Give goes to Gabrielle Marie. She's looking for an alley. Oh, she finds one, cuts right back up the middle. 
She'll get about five yards there, down to about the 18-yard line. Makes the little cutback right there. She read the hole very well, made the cutback, and gets about five. Make it third down at about three now. Listen to Brenner there call the play. Third down and a long three. Brenner calls out the signals, fades back, she's looking to throw. Steps up, throws, and it is incomplete, overthrown, looking for a C, and it will be fourth down, fourth and three. Now they've thrown it the one time they have to, so they can run this ball. Remember in arena, in uh, LFL, you've got to throw the ball once every four downs. Crystal London in the backfield now. Brenner calls out the play, gives it to London. Oh, she's got a big hole. London is across the 10, down near the 5. Marker down at about the 7-yard line. Crystal London with a huge opening. Came along the right side, just continues to fall forward. They'll mark her down. What's that about the seven yard line? And that's a first down and a big first down. Inside the 10. So first down, football again about the seven. Brenner fades back, little pay, play fake, throws, and it is incomplete, knocked away. Nice job defensively by LA. That this thing is on its way to being complete. Brenner with a little handoff fake now fades back, sees the receiver open, throws it, and it's just knocked away. So that'll bring up second and goal. Brenner, he's got that little wrist cheat sheet, if you want to call it that. They're a great idea. All the pro teams, college teams have gone to them now with the plays on her wrist. Calls it out here. Hands it off. Marie gets inside the five, down to about the three-yard line. Gabrielle Marie comes along the side and just uh, drops that thing into about the three or four-yard line. It's part of the terrific three that they've got. Linda Brenner, Gabrielle Marie, Candace Mosley. Mosley, Mosley, a heck of a receiver. Brenner calls out the play, and they're set. Football again at the four-yard line. Give goes to a C. She comes along the right side. She gets down near the goal line, and now the officials are marking it back. They're saying that her knee went down. See if we get a replay on this, because her knee goes down. Yeah, let's see. Watch that, watch that knee go down right there at about the two-yard line, then she falls forward. So they'll mark her back to uh, about the two. Shannon a C with a nice burst there and uh, gets it again to about the two. Clock running 11.40 left here in the first half. And we saw the officials say third down, third and goal. Give goes again, a C comes along the right side. Great walking up ahead and she forces it in. Touchdown Dallas. And they draw first blood in this big battle. A C comes along the right side, gets great help in front. Look at this blocking, nice seal block there to the outside. And that's six points for Dallas. They will go for one point here. Gets the play, and Brenner will read it off to him. Looking for one here. Ready? Play. Brenner calls out the play. Has London in motion, gives it to her, and boy, did L.A. read that well. Oh, my, there's just about every defender for L.A. there on that stop. 
and they hold on that extra point. So six nothing Dallas, and LA will get it here. She fumbled it just for a second, and maybe that would have made a difference because once they read that, there was nowhere to go. Natalie Jenke is their center. Matthews and Gajan, their offensive line. Jaco, Maddox, and Lusick. Lusick, a good wide receiver. Maddox can catch it. And of course, their quarterback, who's got a great arm, is Joey Davenport. She runs the show for LA. Pass as she rolls out to the right side, and it is caught. Tough catch. Jaco there. Had to grab that away. The defender reached a hand in and I thought was going to knock it away. Watch your roll out to the right side here. Makes a nice read and catch. Hang on. Make that a four yard gain. Now motion. Davenport hands off. Lucic coming along the right side. She's got all kinds of room. She's across the 25 and goes out of bounds near the 20 yard line. She comes along the right side here and again had all kinds of room. Little misdirection. Right near that 20 yard line. We'll see where they mark it. Gabrielle Marie and Aaron Marie Garrett, they're all fantasy offensive and defensive uh, players. Shannon Asi, who's been very good for them. Mosley is a great wide receiver. She's got a chance to be all LFL. And of course the uh, the backs, they can do it all. Run along the right side, and this looks like this may have been a little bit of a uh, uh, misdirection as Eastwick grabs. They had a wildcat formation. Eastwick brings it along the right side, and that's a nice gain for her. That's a gain of 11 yards, and that's a first down. Goes right to Eastwick. She runs there inside the 15 down, close to the 10-yard line. That's a first down. And they'll say forward progress down to the nine. So first and goal here. Davenport fades back, got some pressure, and her pass is incomplete. Just threw that over the uh, intended receiver, just threw it over her outstretched hands. Got a little pressure on the play. So again, incomplete. She'll bring in the play. Let's the quarterback know exactly what that is. Davenport has been good. Now we'll get a timeout. And we'll take it with him. 8.54 left. We'll take a break and be right back. Welcome back. 6 nothing Dallas with the lead. L.A. driving here. Joey Davenport, the quarterback, gets a little motion as a handoff goes to the left side. And she's going to get a couple yards down inside the five. Michelle Jacot there. Got about five yards on that. Comes along that left side. Gets inside the five, down to about the four or three, where she's thrown forward. That actually got her a couple more yards. Yeah, they're down to the three-yard line. So L.A. knocking on the door here. Third and goal. Motion comes back to the quarterback. Eastwood gets it across the left side, and she is in for the touchdown. Allie Eastwick gets this and just follows her blockers, and they do a great job. She bounces off the first and goes in. And we're tied at six. And they'll get the play called in. So they're going for one here. Davenport rolls out to the right side looking, got some pressure and throws and it's incomplete. She got a lot of pressure as she rolled out to the right side. The pass is incomplete. So we're tied at six. Eight minutes and three seconds left here in the first half in a six-all tie. 
Well, Dallas, uh, back on offense now, has got to be pleased. The return of Annie Hayner. They'll use her to open, so open up some holes for all fantasy running back Gabrielle Marie and Crystal London, which we saw a little earlier. But trying to go outside because that L.A. front can be very tough. Football to 15. They'll give it Gabrielle Marie. She just pulls her way forward. And Marie with a strong run there. And Dallas just continues to do what they do well. Nothing fancy. Run the football, get about five, six yards on the run, and then set up that long, deep pass, which they've been so good at. She'll fade back, looking long. Throws and it's caught by Mosley, and Mosley, look out! She's to the 15, to the 10, and she's down near the five yard line. Terrific throw. And yards after the catch. That's one of the big stats that football coaches love. That's a lot of yards after the catch. And Dallas is knocking on the door. They've got it down at the one yard line. Boy, that's huge. That's just huge. Brenner throws it, Mosley catches it. That's what they do. So they've got it down at the one. And flags down. Got a thing false start here. So now that moves it back a little bit, back to the six yard line. So they'll have to talk about it here, exactly what they're going to try and do. Still first and goal, but at the six-yard line. Dallas looking to take the lead, tied at six here in the first half. Quarterback Linda Brenner calls out the play. Fades back, looks into the end zone, throws, and it is incomplete. Well, she's upset. <laughs> I don't know if she wanted a penalty or if she wanted somebody to catch the football. Let's see if we can see it here from behind. Oh, she wanted a penalty. Yeah, there may have been a little contact there. Second down, second goal. Football again at the six-yard line. Brenner hands a seat, brings it along the right side, gets a nice opening, and forces it down. And they'll be down about the two-yard line, I want to say. Nice run. She just kept those legs moving. Lost her helmet in the process. Rolls forward. And good job, good gang tackling by L.A. So third and goal now. Third and goal from the two. Dallas has been very successful running the football. Give goes to London and oh, great job. Terrific read by LA. They snuffed that out. Dallas had gone around the outside a couple times, but it wasn't meant to be that time. London comes around that right side and loses yardage. They'll mark that back at the six. And now it's fourth and goal. Both teams scored a touchdown, failed on the extra point on their first possession. And now Dallas looking for the big one here. They're looking for six more. Brenner. Fakes the give, now fades back, steps up, throws, and it is caught! Touchdown! Mosley with another great catch in the end zone, and Dallas just continues to have a great combo with these two. Brenner to Mosley, and Mosley had to grab that away from the defender, and that makes it six more, and they're still celebrating with, <laughs> with a dance in the end zone. And 
they want to go for one here. Dallas, a team that favored, but LA has got a lot of moxie. They feel like they're a team that is to be reckoned with before this is all said and done. LA defensively has been tough. All right, Dallas with it. Motion coming to the near side. It's Gabrielle Marie, and she is not going to get there. Boy, I tell you, L.A. up the middle has been so good defensively. They read very well, and they finish those tackles. So another great stop on the extra point. She's going to come right into your living room here. And L.A. was just having none of that. So 12-6. Dallas with the lead, and L.A. will get it back here. And the L.A. Temptation will try and answer. L.A. has been able to do that so far in their first game. Davenport throw to the left side, pass is caught, and they'll get about three yards on the play. Davenport found Eastwick with that one. Got three or four yards. The pass was a little high, and Eastwick had to wait for just a second. And again, that might have been a couple more yards. Let's make it second down and seven now for L.A. Football at about the 18-yard line. Motion comes to the near side. That's Lucic. She'll go right up the middle after the spin and gets it out near midfield. Great second effort. Had an attempt at an arm tackle, and she just rolled through that. And that is a first down for L.A. Lucic with a nice spin move gets that first down, and L.A. continues to roll. These two teams who've been great offensively, and Dallas been great defensively. These two teams have not uh, disappointed so far. Direct snap to Eastwick. Eastwick with a big hole along the left side. Boy, they're just eating up chunks of yardage with those direct snaps, the Wildcat formation. Eastwick got about seven on that one as she came along the left side. The uh, imagination of the LA coaches showing through. Coming up on two minutes left. They're going to try and get one more play. They do. Davenport's pass incomplete. Looking for a little screen there. He was looking screen for Nicole, and that one is incomplete. And we'll take a break. Come back. L.A. trying to take it in and tie this one up. Welcome back, third and three, and a big third down for L.A. here. Davenport gets a little motion, coming to the near side. Give goes to Jaco. She gets across the 15 and very close to a first down. Let's see where they spot this. She is going to be right there, and that is enough for a first down. She comes around that left side, finds a couple Dallas defenders right away, but just does fall forward and get that first down. Big, big first down for L.A. here. Football at about the 12-yard line. Trip receivers go to the right side. Davenport. Takes the snap, throws. Eastwick's got it, and oh, she is. They read this well. Dallas got it from the start. They read that perfectly. A host of Dallas defenders there. That'll be a loss of a couple on the play. She tried to cut up field, and right then and there, Dallas just made a great read and the stop, and we've got a timeout. L.A. with the stop, with the timeout. A minute 21 left. And L.A. trying to figure out exactly what they can do here. This is a big possession for them. 
Dallas has been great defensively. They're number one offensively, averaging 30 points a game and allowing just six points a game. Number one in the LFL defensively. This is a, this is a Dallas defense that's bent a little bit, but certainly not been breaking when you allow only six points a game. Philly and New York next week. Philly, the number two ranked team right now. We haven't seen them yet. So they've yet to kick it off. We'll get a chance to see them next week. Philly will take on New York. All right, minute 21 left. They've been running the ball very well and they keep it on the ground here. She comes along the left side and gets a couple and is driven out of bounds. Lusick with the carry and coming up on a minute left. Now the clock stops as she went out of bounds. Davenport calls out the play and makes sure her team understands it. Third down, third to about seven here. Davenport fades back. Hainer with some pressure, steps up and got her. And the ball fumbled and Dallas with the recovery and she's gonna bring it out near midfield. Kelly with the pickup and brings that out near midfield. What a huge turnover. Davenport never saw Annie Hainer and then Kelly picks it up. But hold it, we got a penalty. So they'll move it back and it is a first down. All the way back to the 10 yard line. A 15 yard penalty. So now Dallas with 57 seconds left. Remember they've got the quick strike capability. And they may be minus a player and they were. First down and they may have to hurry here. Brenner fades back, steps up in the pocket. She's looking long and it is caught. Great catch. Terrific throw. Caught on the play by Amber Ryan. That's a huge pass and catch. Call that good for 36 yards. Can she fire this thing? That's a great pass and finally driven down inside the five. Down at the four yard line, Dallas has got that terrific quick strike capability. And Dallas looking for a big, big touchdown here. Brenner. Hands to a C, she comes along the right side, gets strung out, and she's not going anywhere. And now Dallas wants a timeout. With 27 seconds left, Dallas wanted to stop the clock. They did fumble it, and Dallas picked it up. Annie Hainer, who we talked about a minute ago, made a really nice play to get to the uh, L.A. quarterback, Davenport, to cause the fumble. Now Hainer there to uh, pick up the fumble. And Dallas with the football, 27 seconds left in the half. You can see their coach. You got to realize Dallas wins this one. They're in the playoffs at three and all. They're going to the playoffs without question. It's just a matter of who's going to join them from the West. And he's picked out his play. He gets it very clear to them exactly what he wants. Football at the six yard line. Let's go, Let's go, 
And everybody's up the line now. Brenner, the lone setback. Throws back, looking, looking into the end zone, and it is caught, Mosley, touchdown! Brenner to Mosley is getting to be uh, a repeat. You hear it again and again. Brenner throws, Mosley there, just takes it away from the defender, and they just continue to play pitch and catch. Twenty seconds left. Dallas is going to try for the extra point. And they're going for two here. They go with the single back set. Brenner calls out the play. Snaps have been low, now rolls out to the side, and it is intercepted and incomplete. They've been having trouble with the snaps. When she's back in that shotgun, they've been having a very difficult time getting the ball back to her. Well, 18-6 to six is your score. That's the big number right now. Dallas in control, L.A. with just 13 seconds left, and L.A. hasn't shown that quick strike capability yet. Obviously, a uh, quarterback like Joey Davenport has got that ability because she can fling it. She's got a great arm. Practices with a professional quarterback coach. First and 10, football at the 15-yard line. Davenport the only back. Trip receivers to the right side. She'll fade back. Steps up, looks, throws, and it is incomplete. Overthrown. Looking for Eastwick there. And a very late flag. Mosley was there. Now let's wait and see what the officials call here. Inadvertent flag, okay. Ball was uncatchable, all right. So second and 10. Davenport calls for it. Got a little pressure. Starts to roll out, steps up, looks, and it is incomplete, and there are flags. And you see flags immediately here. Pass intended for Michelle Jaco, and we are going to have a penalty against Dallas. Official call. All right, so one untimed down as a penalty occurred on what would have been the last play. This one, you've got to throw it at least close to the end zone. Davenport will fade back, roll out to the right side, steps up, throws, and it's incomplete. That's the end of the first half. 18 to 6, Dallas with the lead. Here Davenport steps up and then rolls out to the right side and she's in trouble. Looks deep and the pass is incomplete. So we're at halftime, 18 to six, Dallas with a lead. Here's our first half stats. Total yards pretty close, 133 to 127. Huge differential with the uh, passing yards. And a huge one the other way on the running yards. And here's Jesse. Thanks, Tom. This is Jesse James, your sideline reporter. I'm down here on the field with Coach Bissop. Now, Coach, Dallas' Irish are in the lead, but clearly you guys have been putting a lot of pressure on them offensively and defensively. There has been some questionable passing game. Tell me, what is your plan of action for coming through in the second and winning? Well, we have to uh, stop them on D. Yeah. Um, they're, getting up, they're beating our blocks out. we got to get in there and, and fight through those. Uh, on Offense, uh, we are, they're busting through our box. Yeah. Our girls aren't blocking, and uh, I told them from the beginning, if we don't block, we're not going to win this game. And we got to go in there and get our motivation back up, get our focus back up, and do what we know we can do, just like we did in Denver. 
I plan on coming back and winning. I, I don't plan on losing this game. Okay. I come way too far and way too hard to do this. And those girls, I tell you right now, we're going to make adjustments. We're going to have to because um, they're playing hard and they're playing smart. Uh, they're, they're taking our screens away from us. We're taking a lot of our plays that we normally do. So we have to make adjustments, and we'll do that right now. And uh, you wait. Second half, we'll come back and win this game. All right. All Appreciate right. Well, it. thanks again, Coach Visip, and good luck, okay? Thank you, man. Okay, okay. thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Back to you, Tom. All right, thanks, Jesse. We will take a break. Come back. Second half is coming up. Stick around. Welcome back. Start of the second half. 18 to 6 Dallas with the lead. And Dallas will kick off to LA here. High end over end kickoff. Garbo will pick that up. Comes across the 15th out to the 22 23 yard line. Very nice return. And LA has it in great field position to start this second half. Nice kickoff. He'll take it about the 10 yard line, looks for a seam, and again, a nice return. Joey Davenport, the quarterback, had a good but not great first half. They couldn't finish off that second drive, which really hurt them. Davenport with trips to the left side. Rolls out, little throw, and it's incomplete. Looking for DeGarbo, and that pass was just a little bit low. So incomplete, and it's second and ten. They'll get the play. DeGarbo in at quarterback, so a little wildcat offense here. And she's on a keeper coming around the left side, gets a seam, and that's a very nice gain for L.A. That Wildcat has worked extremely well for them. Get her for a gain of about eight yards here. See the direct snap right to her and cuts right back inside. And let's make it third and about two here. L.A. trying to hurry up. Remember, they threw it on first down, so they don't have to throw it again here. Give goes left side and gain of a couple there. Maybe just a yard. I don't know that they quite got enough for that first down. Let's see where they'll mark it. Along that left side. Oh, that's a great tackle. That's a terrific tackle. And you hear the call of defense. Fourth down and one. DeGarbo stays in at quarterback. Let's see if this is another Wildcat, if this is a design running play. And it is. She goes along the right side, has enough for the first down. Gets inside the 50 before she or 15 before she's driven back. Again, Dallas does a great job of gang tackling. She tried to get outside and tell us, boy, that's a, a again just a great job defensively. And first down, LA. Davenport back in at quarterback. Football just inside the 15. Market at the 14-yard line. First down, L.A. Davenport rolls out to the right side. Now she's going to keep it and tries to get away. Nowhere to go. Maybe lost a couple there. She rolled out to the right side. Had a chance to throw it right away and then tried to make something herself, and it just wasn't going to happen. She got held up and eventually might have again lost a couple and they will mark it down for a couple. She goes over the play. Here 
they're taking their time here to make sure everybody understands the play. And that's DeGarbo back in again. At quarterback as Davenport is out. Motion comes toward her. Takes the give. She'll keep it along the right side. And a great job. Great open field tackle. DeGarbo got about five there. Gabrielle Marie on the stop with a really nice solo tackle. Otherwise, she might have gone for another five or six. Watch this. Comes along the right side, and that's a heck of a tackle. That is a great open field tackle. Third and seven. Davenport's back in. And it would look like a passing down. And she is going to roll out. Look, she's in some trouble. And she is taken down. Boy, Dallas is doing a great job of reading what the quarterback's going to do and then getting into that quarterback and putting pressure on it right away. Davenport here rolls out to the left side. And that defensive front for Dallas has been great all night long. Now down 18 to 6. Fourth down and fourth and seven here. And that'll be a penalty against LA false start. So still fourth down and now a big fourth down. Now they've got some work cut out for them. Fourth and 13. Football at about the 17 or 18 yard line. Davenport. Steps up, throws, a little screen pass. It's caught and she's got a little running room. Look at this, she gets away now. And she got in. But we've got a flag down. She got in for the touchdown, but we've got a flag down, and this could be a disaster, not only for this drive, but for the L.A. season, holding the initial call. Oh, how tough is this? Holding on Allie Eastwick, and that is a really tough call on a touchdown. Fourth and six. Clock just under 11 minutes left. Give goes to Eastwick. She comes along the right side, and she's going to be very close to a first down. Let's, uh, let's wait and see. Tough run, and I think she's got enough for a first down. Yep, first and goal. Football inside the five. Let's mark it down at the two-yard line. Davenport. First and goal. Motion comes toward Davenport. She fades back, looking into the end zone, sprints out right side, and it is caught, touchdown! Matthews with the catch, and L.A. with a much-needed touchdown. Reed Matthews with the style touchdown there. Davenport, well, oh, that's a tough throw. That was right on the money. And L.A. going for one here. Davenport. It's a couple players in motion now. Same set they had for the touchdown, looking for the run, and she got right to the goal line, but no. The officials say that Sick could not quite get in. 
So after LA's possession, and it was a long one, it is 18 to 12, Dallas with the lead. And Dallas will get the football here. And a touchdown could really put them in the driver's seat. Dallas offensively has been terrific. They can run it, they can throw it. And Linda Brenner seems to read really well which receiver is the one to throw the football to. So they've got it at the 15. Clock running, coming up on nine and a half left here. Brenner fades back. Looks looking long, and it is incomplete. Boy, that was broken up very late. Lusick knocked that one away. Let's see if we get a better angle on this one. Oh, yeah, right at the end, Lusick knocked that away, and it's incomplete. And the officials have a stoppage. 8.59 left. And if the official says it, we'll take it. 8.59 left. We'll be right back. Eight minutes, 59 seconds left. Second and 10, Dallas with the lead and the football. 18 to 12, Dallas with the lead. See, with it, brings it along the right side. Nice cutback, look at this. There's all kinds of room as she rolls forward. That's a great run. And you, again, you can see why Dallas has so many weapons. Why, they're a team that's just going to be awfully difficult to stop. Here's a nice cutback. Gets away from another defender there. Gets it inside the 20-yard line, and uh, Dallas is just rolling. So first and 10, Dallas. Mark forward progress at the 18. Clock running coming up on eight minutes left. And we've got whistles and a flag. That's going to go against the offense. All star offense. Still first down. First down, Dallas coaching staff will not be happy with that. This is a team that really prides themselves on the execution and coaching staff, players, the whole bit, they get it. They are really good at that. First and 15, motion comes out by Brenner and she fumbles the snap and she's in trouble. Had the ball knocked away and Dallas picks it up. Gabrielle Marie, the one to fall on it there. Very smart play. So Dallas now having their share of trouble. Loss of four on the play. Make it second and 19. Brenner back and again they have trouble with that she's got all kinds of trouble and throws it and it's incomplete it'll be an incomplete pass her arm was coming forward lots of pressure there by LA and boy LA losing at Denver at the half and came back to win that game losing at half here LA showing some moxie down by six Third and 19. LA has been good on this drive defensively. Third and 19. Brenner. 
give goes to London and oh, nowhere to go. Great stop. LA again reads that really well and it brings up a big fourth down. Watch the linebacker here just read that, come out to the outside, close down the gap, and now it is fourth down. Now they've thrown it, but you would think they've got to throw it again. We're under six minutes here. And I keep saying that because one of these two teams has come out of here with a loss, and that is really tough for these two preseason favorites. Fourth down, fourth and 18. Mosley has been the favorite target of every long pass pretty much that she's thrown all season. Runner fades back. She's got all day, and she's looking Mosley, and it is incomplete, and L.A. has held. Big job by L.A. defensively to hold. They've answered that call, and now they've got a chance to tie this up. What a huge stop for L.A. for their season. That was one of those must-haves, and they got it. So now they've got it right near midfield. Mark it at the 24-yard line, first and 10. Davenport, the quarterback. Got some time. Steps up in the pocket, looking long throws, and it is almost intercepted. Very dangerous pass, and it's incomplete high snap and she kind of shot puts that one a little bit of a wounded duck as it's incomplete so second down now second and ten and hold it And now we're good, okay. Second and 10. Motion comes back. It is a double reverse. And Dallas reads that pretty well. They still get a couple on it, but Dallas read that really well. Kristen Reed, defensively, did a very nice job. <laughs> So third and 12 here. Give goes to Eastwick. She comes around that right side and boy Dallas has just done a great job of reading that. They've really picked that up very, very well. The Wildcat formation and look at this. They just very, very well coached, well schooled. This Dallas team really understands what's going on. Fourth and nine. And now L.A. with some confusion. They may have to call a timeout here. And they will. Dallas, uh, L.A. will take a timeout. 3.52 left. And we'll take it with them. 3.52 left. We'll be back. Well, big play now for L.A., not only for their drive, for the game, for the season, 
fourth and nine, and the snap goes over Davenport's head, and she is sacked back at about the nine yard line. Wow. They've had trouble with that all night long. Instead of being short that time, it goes over her head. And that is a killer, especially to a team like Dallas. They are a very good team and a team that can smell blood in the water. Now 345 left and Dallas with a chance to put a big time nail in the coffin of this game. Football at the 10, first and goal. Here comes Dallas. Their quarterback, Linda Brenner, has been great all game, all season. That's a double reverse. Mosley along the left side gets it to the five, and she is driven out about the three-yard line. Boy, Mosley has just been great. Watch her come along the left side here, gets around the outside, and knocked out at about the five. And we've got an injured player. An official the officials stop play they try and take care of everybody and the officials still hanging on trying to make sure that everybody's okay Come over and they're checking, checking the ankle, checking the knee, trying to see exactly what's up. And she is very, very tender as she gets up and tries to walk. Jennifer De La Rosa there being helped off. Hopefully she's going to be all right. She's walking a little better now. It seems to be loosening up just a little bit. Hopefully she's going to be all right. Well, remember now, Dallas has got the football with 3.36 left. Second goal after that double reverse. <laughs> Dallas players trying to encourage that big crowd. <laughs> How about Linda Brenner pulling her own rally towel out there for a second and waving that? Brenner gives it to Reed. She'll come along the left side. She's to the two end and goes untouched into the end zone. Kristen Reed scores for Dallas, and that's a huge TD. Look at this. She comes along the left side, just digs in for the corner, and she puts six on the board. <laughs> a little bowling for dollars there. Gets them all down. Dallas going to go for one here. Up 24 to 12. Try and make it 25. Dallas has had trouble with these uh, one point and two point conversions. Brenner. Give goes along the left side, and again, L.A. does a great job, just runs that out of bounds. So, the stop with 3.26 left now. 
L.A. has got to figure out how to score, get it back, and score again. 24-12, Dallas in the lead and looking for that playoff berth. They hang on and they're going to Miami. Davenport gets motion. Jaco with it goes along the left side, breaks one tackle, and she fights her way forward and gets a little help from her teammates. Gets pushed forward for a gain of about five on the play. What's the end of this? Right here. Look at 16. <laughs> They're going to push that pile forward. That's something you learn by watching football. Very, very nice. Do anything you can, right? Clock running. Coming up on two and a half left. LA's got to hurry a little bit. Davenport fades back, rolls out, steps up, throws, and it is incomplete. Almost intercepted, it's incomplete. Davenport, been kind of short arming it, throws this one pretty well and was all but picked off, but it goes incomplete. Mosley, the great receiver, was out there and almost grabbed that one. We have holding against the offense, second down. So second down after the holding. Second and 10. Give goes along the right side and boy, she's just gonna drag him there. But look at her, just continues to push forward. Oh, that's outstanding. That's just outstanding. Lusick just continued to fight for every yard she could get. Lusick is down, shaking up. The defender was shaken up. That's one of the best runs we've seen this year. She didn't want any more help. She's going to go off on her own power, but that was that was a great run. Football at the 24-yard line now. Davenport fades back, throws left side. It's caught. DeGarbo's got it. And she'll get a couple. Over oh, a gain of three on the play. She gets away from one defender, and then Mosley, who's done an awful lot, comes in and makes the stop. And we've got a timeout. L.A. wants to talk it over. So they'll talk it over, and we'll take a break. Back here in Dallas. Second down. Second and seven after the timeout. Give, Sick goes along the left side and she's going to get about seven yards on the play. We've got a flag down. Oh, that's a killer. Holding against LA. Oh, that's just, you're the LA coaching staff. You just want to bang your head against the wall here. That's just a killer. So second and 10 now. Davenport fades back, steps up, little screen pass. It's caught. Oh, what a hit. Oh, my. Got about five on the play, but that was a serious, serious hit. She'll fade back, throw, and boom, immediately. Almost annihilated. Wow, what a great hit. 
Clock running, minute 20 left. Third and about six. Davenport, pass thrown, and it is intercepted. Mosley, who's done such a great job offensively all season long, with the final big play for Dallas in this one. She picks this thing off. Watch this. Boy, she read that really well. Brings it up the field. Returns about 14 yards. And that's just a huge interception. And Dallas now can run out the clock. LA has used their timeout. <laughs> Get the bump by the players. A little confusion with L.A. They need an extra defender, but this is really inconsequential. With a minute left, Dallas now has gone 3-0. and Their New Year's Day game in Seattle is really going to be meaningless. Dallas is going to Miami, and I tell you, those words are exactly what they wanted to hear. That's a sweet sound that you're going to the playoffs. 3-0, Dallas has done it on the ground, in the air. They've done great, they've done a terrific job defensively. And now all they have to do is run out a little clock. Should take the one knee, hand it back to the official, let a little play clock run down. And Dallas will go 3-0 and be headed for the playoffs. L.A. got a must win now. L.A. hosts Seattle. That's like a regular season playoff game. Day after Thanksgiving, those two teams will be, uh, will be fighting. A Seattle win, and Seattle's in. If Seattle loses, they can still get in, but then it could be interesting. Here's the other knee down, and that'll do it. Dallas gets the win. Boy, they have been outstanding. 24 to 12, Dallas with the win, and they are going to Miami. <laughs> and their quarterback, Linda Brenner, says, we're number one, baby, and you know what? There's a lot of truth in that. They might be the number one team, although we haven't seen many in the East, and Seattle's still 2-0. But Dallas at 3-0 is definitely going to the playoffs. They're going to Miami, and it should be a great show for them. Dallas wins it 24-12. L.A. falls to 1-1. Dallas 3-0 and and in command and going to the playoffs. It was a heck of a night. So glad you all could join us here. Congratulations to Dallas going to the playoffs. They have had a terrific year. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a terrific evening.